I hope you're not afraid of heights because today in Skate 3, we have a high flying narrow gap across some skyscrapers, a speed glitch launch through some tight rafters, a torpedo jump off a building, and more in a brand new episode of Skate 3 Narrow Gap Challenges. And as some of you guys may know, I just moved across the country into a new house, which can be a very stressful time, especially financially, which is why I'm very excited to announce the sponsor of today's video, Rocket Money. Rocket Money is an all-in-one personal finance platform that can help you save more and spend less. Like I've been buying things for our new house and this new studio and a great feature about rocket money is that you can set up spending budgets that'll track your spending per category and they'll send you friendly notifications if you've exceeded them but rocket money will also cancel unwanted subscriptions for you nowadays there's so many streaming platforms and subscription based products that it's easy to lose track of all your subscriptions but rocket money can cancel unwanted subscriptions with literally just one tap and once you see how many subscriptions you have it might just surprise you but not only that rocket money can also monitor your credit score for you i didn't even know how to check my credit score before i got this app so that's a very helpful feature and guys rocket money truly does have a lot of ways to help you save money i haven't even mentioned how they can help you lower your bills track and grow your net worth and more so download rocket money and unlock more features with premium go to rocketmoney.com slash zexyzek or you can click the link down in the description once again big thank you to rocket money for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it what the huh did any of you guys see that <laughs> they just came out of nowhere well, all right, guys, we are downtown right now for our first challenge of the day. And we actually don't even need this skateboard. Say goodbye to it. So our first challenge today comes from Skate3Cap on TikTok. Let's watch it. So he jumps off of the parking garage. And then, oh, what? He fits the skater through that tiny hole in the street lamp. Wait, what? I got to watch that one more time in slow-mo. He calls this the smallest thread the needle in Skate3. That could be the smallest thread the needle in Skate3. I think this is a great way to get this episode started, guys. So let's head over to the parking garages. And we'll see if we can find this spot. Now, it is very rare that we have a skate three challenge where we actually don't need our skateboard but after watching this first challenge i'm pretty sure it would be impossible to even use our board because the gap is so narrow i don't think we would fit through it if we were holding our board but the first challenge is actually going to be just finding this spot i know it's off the edge of a parking garage so let me just oh no ah what I meant to do was just jump up here. There we go. Okay, where is the street lamp? There is a street lamp down there, but I don't think it's that one. Oh, I think it's that one all the way over there. Okay, so we're one level too high right now. So let's do some parkour here. Oh, jump over the fence. Oh, that was not nearly as smooth as I thought it would be. But all right, here we are. Let's jump up here. Oh, this is actually still pretty high. There it is right there. That is the street lamp. Now we need to like torpedo ourselves through that tiny hole. That is crazy. At least we don't have to land back on our skateboard. That's the best part about this challenge. So I guess we're just going to give this a try. I'm just going to approach the ledge. Try to like line myself up over here. Throw my board out of the way and then just jump. And then torpedo and then what? We got to land in the hole. I can honestly say I have never done a skate three challenge like this one before. I kind of want to spread eagle first to like line it up and then torpedo into it. I like how there's just a bunch of cars driving by and like people watching me try to do this. Oh, this has got to look absolutely ridiculous. There we go. Oh, what, dude? How do we get through there? I feel like I hit it straight on right there. Wait, what? This is going to be so hard. How are we going to fit our skater through there? We definitely have to be like sideways. This could be one of the hardest narrow gaps I've done. Oh, come on, dude. And of course, I picked it for the first challenge of the episode. So come on. Oh, this was supposed to be the warm up. Oh, it's like a guy up with me now. He's like, please don't jump. No, oh, what? My head is in it. Are you kidding me? That's so close. No, what? Not again. I'm, I'm like stuck in it. Now that is a funny Skate 3 picture right there. Oh, yes. Let's go. We made it through. Oh, that was so hard. But we finally did it. I'm ashamed to admit how long that actually took me. But after many attempts, we finally all squeezed ourselves through this street lamp hole. Yes, <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, what a way to get us started. Let's film it. All right, there you have it. That was an interesting clip for sure. I love just the absolute row of cars back here. It's like a huge backup. But all right, thank you for setting in that challenge. Oh my gosh, how many cars are actually in this line? But all right, guys, our next challenge comes from Courtful on my subreddit. Let's watch this clip. So it looks like he's on top of an old building, does the beach ball speed glitch off the ramp into a coffin, and oh, what? Through a hole in the wall? That is insanely narrow. Maybe not as narrow as our last challenge, but we actually have to land this one 
which makes it much harder. He actually lands in the grass without a ramp. Now that is crazy. All right, this is definitely a more traditional narrow gap. I think this one's gonna be pretty tough. But all right, let's head to the industrial district and we will give this a try. All right, here we are outside of the old factory. You can actually see the hole up there that we're gonna try to do a narrow gap through. Now the grass is placed in a way that you can actually land here, which is insane. I mean, you have to land like perfectly on this little slope spot for it to count. I'm gonna try to land in the grass, but if it's getting too tough, I might put a ramp down. But we need to get up onto the other side so we can actually launch into this. This honestly may be one of the areas I've skated the least in this entire map. So it's cool that we have a challenge here. So I'm gonna do a quick little launch glitch to get on top of that other roof. Let's see if we can get a nice first try here. Okay, pretty good. Oh, yes, let's go. I didn't think we were gonna make it. There we go. We're on top of the roof. All right, so let's get our ramp down here. I'm glad we actually have to use our skateboard for this challenge. Wow, you actually can't even see where we're trying to gap to. That is scary. We're going in blind. And we have to use the beach ball speed glitch, which is one of my worst speed glitches. So let's drop down this beach ball here. All right, let's give this a try. Not a lot of space for this speed glitch. The roof is actually a lot smaller than I thought it'd be. Wow, we need to be going way faster than that. And there we go. Okay, just straight off the roof. Oh, good thing I placed this quarter pipe here. Oh, bonus line. Oh, that was kind of nice. It's always fun to get a little bonus clip in. What is going on? Okay. Oh, that's definitely our best try yet. Okay, we're trying to make it through that tiny hole right there. There we go. Oh, how do we get the height? We definitely need to be going higher. Okay, there we go. That's definitely getting closer. It may not look like it, guys, but I promise we're getting closer. Oh, there we go. No, we definitely don't want to hit the roof, though. Yes, okay, that's our first good try. Now you can actually see what we're trying to do. We're trying to go to the left and actually go through the hole in between, like, the bricks and, like, the big beam there. All right, that was our closest try yet. Now let's see if we can actually keep it up and keep getting closer and closer. That was definitely <laughs> not closer. Oh, no. I forgot to mention it earlier, but if you guys want to send in any of your own Epic Skate 3 challenges or narrow gaps, make sure you send them to me on my subreddit, r slash zexyzek. Come on. Oh, the link will be in the description. Oh, all the way over it. Okay. No, we almost made it through. Oh, we actually made it through. We just didn't land it, which does not count for this challenge. Oh my gosh. How is that not it? That was so close. I like barely scraped something. I don't know. That was close. Yes. Bang! Let's go! Absolutely perfect! Oh, power slide! Yes, let's go! Oh, that was so nice! Oh, we finally made it through after so many close attempts, and we didn't even need a ramp at the end. Look at that! Oh, I think I kind of broke my shoulder there. But yes! Bang! Oh, barely landed in that grass. All right, let's film that. That was awesome. Wow, that clip came out really good. All right, there we go. Another narrow gap challenge completed. Let's move on to the next one. Now, I gotta be honest, guys. This next challenge is not something that you see every day. It comes from Skate 3 Tommy. Let's watch this clip. He does the speed glitch on top of a giant skyscraper all the way to a different building, up a ramp, and coffin through a narrow, like, rail he placed up there onto the roof. Power slides to stay up there. Absolutely insane. This has got to be the highest narrow gap ever done in Skate 3. Wow, I I am very excited to try this. Let's head downtown. We'll get on top of this building. All right, we are once again downtown, but instead of going on top of the parking garage, this time we need to go on top of an actual building. Oh, Skate 3 Tommy's is always pushing the limits of this game. All right, we need to find exactly which building he starts at. I'm pretty sure he starts like near the edge of this map, actually. It's gotta be one of these buildings around here. Which one exactly? I'm not sure. I think it might be that one over there. Now, how are we gonna get up there? I have no idea. First thing I wanna try is actually like this glitch. If you go on a slanted surface, and do a Christ there into a super dude. Sometimes it'll launch you up into the air. I don't know if it'll actually work at this spot. Oh, what the? Oh, oh no, what is going on? Oh, I'm like possessed. Oh my gosh, dude, what is happening? Okay, well, I guess this isn't gonna work. I think we can get up onto that building right there. We can try to do like a super launch glitch, maybe. That's where we use a ramp and a piece of plywood. All right, let's see if we can get a crazy launch here. Oh, that was not a crazy launch. 
Oh, there we go. That is pretty much what I wanted. Can we make it all the way to this building? Oh, we're just going to fall short. I jumped too early. But I do think this is going to work. Oh my gosh, look at that launch. Oh, we almost made it onto that building. All right, let's just rest here for now and uh, see where we are. Okay, we need to get on top of this building right here. That's the one Tommy starts on. So I think the easiest way to get up here will actually be to go up there first. We want to just keep getting higher and higher. And we can easily get up there with the launch glitch. I don't even think we'll need plywood for this one. Just a good old-fashioned launch. Okay, Okay, and come on. Yes, there we go. All right, now we can get up there pretty easily. One more launch glitch should do the trick. Okay, that's pretty good. Go to the right. Come on. Yes, okay. We finally made it on top of the building. That was a challenge on its own. But here we go. We're on top of this building. Now we need to set up some ramps and then a narrow gap on top of that building. That's crazy. Oh, this is going to be insane. So first thing we want to do is actually just speed glitch over to this building because we need to set up some ramps over here. We're going to need to build like a double ramp here. So I'm going to start with a mani pad, which might seem kind of weird, but you just got to trust the process. Then we're going to use a wedge ramp over here. A dumpster on top of this. Trust me, I, this is going to work. I hope. I actually have no idea. And then another wedge ramp here, kind of propped up like this. Oh my gosh, that is way too steep. Let's bring this back a little. Something like that, I think. That doesn't look too bad. Let me line it up better. Like that. Okay, there we go. We got ourselves kind of like a double mega ramp here. But now we actually have to like use the ramps to get up to this next building. This is a pretty crazy setup for a narrow gap. Okay, perfect. And up this way. Okay, and land on this building. Don't go too far. Yes, okay. Now we're going to place a billboard here. Yes, a billboard. And this will actually create our narrow gap challenge on top of this building. Wow. All right, this took a lot of setup. But all right, I think everything is pretty much ready to go now. Okay, my ramps exploded. All right, we finally got everything set up for maybe the highest narrow gap ever done. Oh my gosh, we are really high up here. All right, let's get a speed glitch going. We'll give this a try. So basically, we just need a speed glitch off this roof onto this roof and hit those ramps. And then if we somehow manage to do that, we also have to go through the narrow gap we placed. Oh, this is high stakes. Look at how far the fall is if we don't make it. But of course, our goal is to make it across alive and actually land this narrow gap. Okay, first good try. There we go. And oh my gosh, we almost got it. I can't believe how close that was. All right, that could be a good sign, but sometimes it's just really like beginner's luck at the start. Oh no, because we still have to land over on this building and ride away cleanly. Nice. Okay, that's actually pretty lined up. Narrow gap. Oh no. Oh, up the building. Oh, this is kind of a sick spot. I'm honestly not even sure what the hardest part of this challenge is. It might just be hitting these ramps. There we go. Oh, no. But getting through that narrow gap is not going to be easy either. Oh, keep it alive. Can we land this? Oh, that would have been sick. Okay. Oh, I like that. Okay. Come on, narrow gap. No, oh, if I got the coffin out quicker, we might have had it. Oh, so close. Now we fall down into the void forever. Goodbye, Skate 3 World. Oh, there we go. Into nothingness. Well, that's what happens if you don't land it. Oh, what was that? That was sick. Come on. No, we didn't land it. We actually bounced off the building and went through it. That was sick. Not the challenge, though. Well, that's like a little bonus clip for you. Okay. Oh, come on. Yes. No, I knew we weren't going to be able to stay on the building. We were going too fast. No. Oh, we got to land on the building, guys. Oh, what? Oh, what? We actually landed one like that. Wait, what? We, like, bounced through it. Oh, my gosh. How are we getting, like, so close, but, like, something's wrong every time? I just want a clean one. Yes, stay on the building. Come on. Go. Yes, let's go. We did it. Oh, the highest narrow gap in Skate 3 is complete. Wow, that was insane. All right, now I got to see that one more time. Let's see what happened here. Off the ramp, switch, heel flip into the fakie coffin. And oh, right through the narrow gap. Beautiful. And bang, right onto the building. And oh, I tried so hard to stay on the building. But yes, in the end, we rolled away. That is what I'm talking about. Let's see the replay. Wow.
Wow, there you have it. What a clip. What a challenge. Thank you, Skate3 Tommy, for sending that to me. And until someone does one higher than that, I'm gonna say that's the highest narrow gap in Skate3. But all right, guys, we still have one more narrow gap challenge to get to. This challenge comes from Courtful on my subreddit. Let's watch the clip. He's in a place I don't immediately recognize. He goes off a quarter pipe and, oh, up through, like, the support beams or the rafters up there and goes all the way back down and lands in the quarter pipe and rides away. That is sick. Now, I believe this is a DLC map. I think it's the Maloof New York City map. I'm pretty sure I've only ever been here once. Maloof Money Cup 2010 New York City. Let's teleport there now. All right, here we are. Now, this is the area I think we're headed to. I don't know what you want to call this, but it looks really cool. I think if we go this way, we can actually go inside of it. Yes, what is this? Like, what is this even supposed to be? At this point, it's just turned into a skate park. Oh, spot found. Let's see. What do they call this spot? Money banks. All right, I guess we're at the money banks. But we need to go up a little bit higher. We need to go on that, like, first level there. So I'm just going to do a quick launch glitch to get up there. A little bit of this. Okay, we got a lot of those in today. Here we go. No, don't go too far. Oh, right up against the fence. And yes, all right, we're up here. Now, our goal is to speed glitch up and actually go through, like, one of the squares up there. I mean, there's so many. I could never figure out the exact one. I think if we go through any of them, we could pretty much count it because that is so cool. The hard part is going to be landing back down in, like, the quarter pipe there. We're going to have to line it up pretty much perfectly. We're going to want to put like a quarter pipe here, something like this. So basically we have to speed glitch up off of this, go through one of those beams up there and then land back down successfully. And we're going to use the beach ball speed glitch for this. So let's drop down our beach ball right about there. Oh, it's rolling. Oh, it's downhill. All right, let's give this a try. The beach ball is literally rolling. Oh, like that. Oh, we're stuck in the ramp. No. Why does that keep happening today? Well, that was a good amount of speed. Okay, there we go. We need to go up through the air. Oh, we actually went over the rafter then. Oh, what? Did we just go through that one? Wait, what just happened? We definitely went over the first one, but then we went through. Like, wait, what? Our leg went through it. Wait, are, can you even touch these? Hold on. We got to do that one more time because that was a little weird. Let's see. Oh, what? We went right through the bar and oh, we landed. Wait, what just happened? Uh, okay. You can just go right through them. Wow, I guess the developers never thought anyone would be up here. So yeah, you can literally just fly through these, which makes it a little easier, I guess. I think we're still going to try to get one where I don't touch anything. I think that would count as a narrow gap. All right. At least we know we can land the transfer too. We want to make it look like it's a narrow gap, even though secretly we know that you can actually just go and go right through the ball. Okay, looking pretty good. Up through the air. Okay, I'm going to have to... Oh, we went through two of them. Oh, we didn't land it, though. All right, even though this last challenge is a little weirder than I was expecting, this is a cool spot that we don't get to come to very often, so I'm still happy we're here. Okay, and we're going up. And we're going back down. We landed, but let's see if we clipped anything. It looks like, yep, we went right through that bar. I must say, this is much less satisfying when we have to do it this way. Okay, maybe. Yes, we landed. All right, we're going to have to go back and watch it. I literally have no idea. Oh, little trick line. It felt pretty good, though. I guess we'll see. All right, let's see. We pulled out the coffin, and oh, yeah, we went right through it. All right, there we go. I don't think we hit anything else, and there we go. We landed. One of the weirder narrow gap challenges. There was definitely a plot twist I wasn't expecting there. But all right, there we go. I'm happy with that. I think that was pretty clean. My body did like a little jiggle, but I don't think I actually hit anything. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. All right, we'll take it. All right, there we have it. The money banks narrow gap through the rafters. The rafters that you can no clip through. Who knows? Well, all right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Once again, big thank you to Rocket Money for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to check out Rocket Money, make sure you click the link down in the description. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. And as always, stay sexy. See you guys.